Here we're going to use this formula to find the vertex of our quadratic equation. So to use that formula, we need to know what A, B, and C are. So A is the number in front of the x squared. So if there isn't one, we assume the coefficient is 1. B is the number in front of the x, which is positive 12. And C is the constant at the end, which is positive 32. So now once we know what A, B, and C are, we're going to find the x coordinate by substituting into this formula. So it would be negative 12 divided by 2 times 1. So then just start simplifying. 2 times 1 is 2, so it's negative 12 divided by 2, which is negative 6. So that is our x-coordinate of our vertex. Now we need to find the y-coordinate. There's a couple ways you can do that. There is this formula they're giving you. If you prefer, you can always find the y-coordinate um, by substituting in the x-coordinate that you know. So we could just substitute in negative 6 for x, square it, multiply it, add it, and see what y equals. But here we're going to practice using this formula instead. So it would be negative b squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 4 times a. So when we substitute in, make sure you don't lose that minus sign, that negative sign. We have 12 squared minus 4 times 1 times 32. So I put in b, a, and c there. All that divided by 4 times 1. Now, here I'm going to do a couple things at once. Again, don't lose that negative sign. 12 squared is 144, and 4 times 1 times 32 is 128, so minus 128. All that divided by 4 times 1, which is 4. And then you have negative 144 minus 128 is 16. So the answer is negative 4. So this right here, using this formula they gave us, is um, the vertex. Here are our x and y coordinates.